So people, let's go. Welcome to the video series on Go programming and today we are talking about maps in Go. So in our video series on Go, we have talked about arrays, slices and today we are going to talk about maps. Now there is one thing you might have guessed by now. All those things which came to other programming languages as an accessories or add-ons is inbuilt in Go. You do not need to use any library, any special library to use these maps or slices. Slices are very similar to vectors, right? So let's go ahead and understand what are maps in Go and how we can make use of that. So let me take you to my Visual Studio and let me talk about maps. Maps are key value pairs, okay? And it is implemented as hash map, which means the best case you will get O1 complexity or worst case ON depending upon how the buckets are being created. And if you are coming from C++ programming language, the C++ STL unordered map is very similar to this. It is similar in terms of data structure. Don't quote me saying that it is exactly similar because I haven't created that unordered map, okay? So in terms of data structure, it is very similar, but there might be some difference internally the way hash map is created, okay? So when you create a map in Go, you provide key and value. So you can create a map using var np as map. A string is the key, int is the value. If you do not want to declare a variable, you can use colon equal to declare and assign and can say np equal to map string int and we can pass those parameters. So here string is the key, int is the value. So a string name id, age, lucky number is the key and 101, 37 and 9 is the value. Let's first go ahead and just print this particular map and see how it looks. So when we go ahead and run this, here is how it will look like. The map page map in the array notation age 37, lucky number 9, name id 101. Now one very visible thing which you might miss no matter how you define your map. In our case, the name ID is first, but while map is being printed, age is first, okay? So this particular order will not be maintained. So it will not be that zeroth index or zeroth key will be name ID, no, that's not the case, okay? So this is a very simple way of creating and printing the map. Now let's go ahead and see what if we want to print the values corresponding to a particular key. Very simple, we can use array kind of notation to say that in this particular map, I want this particular key. You need to give the key in the way it is being defined, okay? So name ID is the key. And if you give the key and run the code, you will get the output value of name is 101, okay? Now let's talk about some of the simple things which we will do while using map. What we are gonna do is that Let's understand how to loop through keys and value within a map. We will be using range just like our slices to loop through maps. So here is how we are going to loop through. For key value in range map, we will take key and value. Let me go ahead and run this particular code also and you can see this key name id value 101, key age value 13 and lucky number 9. So if you want to loop through, you can and in all probability you should use range, okay? And you know this, if you do not want to use key, you can just put underscore and remove this. And in this particular case, you will get only value, okay? You have to provide this underscore because if you provide key as k and if you are not using it, Go will complain. So this is all about how to loop through maps in Go. Now you will talk about, you know, what is the difference? Before I gonna talk about difference, let me ask you a question. What will be the output of this particular line? See it carefully. The name ID is a small i. It's not capital I. The name of the key is mismatch, which means if we go ahead and run this code, the name will be zero. Okay, which shouldn't be the case because the name is 101 because it is being misplaced and I need to put capital 
i in id and then it is correct okay so you know when you are accessing a key which is not available it will give its default value so for int default value is zero okay so value is int so int is default zero so we need to ask a question okay if we want to you know update a key how will we identify whether the key is present in the map or not to solve this particular problem there is something which is called comma ok idiom in co-programming language okay so let's talk about comma ok idiom comma ok idiom means it checks if the map key is available then it will give me something based on which i am going to do whatever i want to do with the map key so here is how we can use comma ok idiom we can say if v v is value ok ok is bool and it will come as true or false when we are looking for whether the key is existing or not so we say that if map name id key is there then value is present and value is v then value is not present so let's first run it now and you can see that value is present and if i change the id to small i it will say value is not present so in map at least comma ok idiom is very very important and plays a vital role in maps okay now after comma ok idiom let's talk about how can we add keys maps key in runtime okay so here i am adding two keys new key and new key two okay so we can just directly create keys in the map which is already there there is no problem with that and if we go ahead and print this particular map you can see that this uh, new key and new key 2 is added look this time it was added in the beginning okay so we can just add it so let me get rid of this also now again a simple example of using comma ok idioms to see if the value is present because if you just see the value for a key if the key is not there the value will be zero which is the default value so we can use comma ok idiom to check so let me get rid of this okay so i hope and believe that you understood the meaning and usage of comma ok idiom you can see a couple of examples i'm not gonna run this let me go ahead and get rid of this okay so i have written a comment that there is a difference between zero and null value and that's why we need comma ok idiom to understand whether there is actually a value or the key is not there now to delete a key very simple call the delete function with new key so i need to uh, add the key first so i'll say mp uh, new key equal to one one zero one or one zero one one okay and then I can delete the new key, okay? So in this case, the new key should not be printed and it will not print. It went back to its original state where there was only three keys. So let me get rid of this. And we can also use comma ok idiom to remove the key. So why we should use comma ok idiom to remove the key? Because we need to see whether key is there or not, okay? So I will say if new key two is there, the value is this i can delete it okay let me add this new key to also so that uh, this particular part is executed i'll say new key to is equal to one two one two for example and if we run the code you can see that so the new keys um new key spelling is not correct new key okay so if i go ahead and run this code it will say why it is not checking new key here also the spelling is mistaken so now it will say the value is 1212 and after that since this is deleted this range will not return new key to so this is all about basic usage of maps in go programming language i hope and believe that i was able to explain this in the easiest possible way and of course we are gonna meet again until the next time we meet good day goodbye you please take care.